Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 32. And uh, we're here in layer 4. And all we have left to do... I went back to the Hunter's Dream and leveled up. Pointing the blood tint so I can use the Rider Palash, I believe is the one I needed to do, but... I think I'm going to try to get my strength up to 30, so I can at least um, use the cannon. Because in the Nightmare Front, I don't think I'll actually gain 10 points in the strength, actually, um, by the time I get to face Amdala, but on uh, the Nightmare Frontier. But um, it will help <laughs> for the second phase. Or the second fight in the Chalice Dungeons of Amidala. They do, they do reuse bosses in the Chalice Dungeons, which is interesting. Um, so we're going to go through here. And... Those are good uh, blood gems. Oh, another summon sign. Man, man, Waller, nice. Sage is rest again. This way. Oh, double. Nicely done, sir. This way. This is just the top level, it looks like. Just come back down and. of ambush. Okay. Yeah. 
nasty. <laughs> and that's nasty down there. Okay, let's see if I missed anything here. I drop down now. <laughs> I'm for birds. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, I gotta lure these guys. Okay. I gotta lure them. Sideways, Barry? Holy crap. I've done that. Nice, another temporary blood. Alright. They just rest. And we're done here. In blood vials, I don't know, though. Let's see. Hopefully, the boss is not. Pain. Let's check him out. guy. Good. Yeah, get some fire people in there. Come on. Good prospector. Go. Alright, now... Even though this is going to make the boss harder, let's see what the boss is in this. I really hope it's not Amygdala, because then I know it's a long fight, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to beat it. And I want to get my strength up to 30, at least, to use the cannon, because it's awesome. Good like bone marrow ash. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's a bloodletting list. Whoa, that was almost a one shot.
the Defile Chalice. Another fixed chalice that we needed. All right, sweet. So I believe we've done five, we've completed five fixed chalice dungeons. And we only have five more left. And we're actually going to get, uh, once we beat Amidala, we're going to get the Great Ease, I believe, chalice dungeon. But let's go make this one. Up here. The Thumeru. Okay, so we need two Bastard of Lorens and 22 Arcane Haze. Um, we did that. Okay. So we have not gotten the Bastard of Loren yet. We will later. Um, and the Arcane Haze. Let's see how we... Okay, so we're going to have to use a whole bunch of... Okay. We need the Bastard of Loran. We have not gotten that, so... Um, we can hold off on creating that Chalice Dungeon. We gotta do the Defiled Chalice, which is the hardest Chalice Dungeon, because you start with, like, half your health. And it's a Welcome permanent home, thing, good hunter. which sucks. What is it you... Um... Very well so let's move Strength to one there. I wonder... Ten thousand more... All right. Welcome. Very well, let me... I think it's manageable that we can get it up to 30. So. <laughs> and, uh. Let's see. Go up here. Now, we're going to go to the Nightmare Frontier, and we're going to do a quick, uh... Ooh, we can get more Shaman... Oh, we can get Shaman Bone Blades, which is great. And some Bloodstone Trunks. And that's it. Okay, so... We're going to need the Tonsil Stone, which we already have for this, to go to the Nightmare Frontier. Um, we're going to start at the... Uh... Let's see... We want to start at Yargul Unseen Village, go backwards, and we want to get captured by the Amygdala. Um, and before we go to the Nightmare Frontier, we're actually going to go to Lecture Hall, which has deep, deep um, lore significance and co uh, connection to Bergenware. That's where I believe the School of Mensis is. And we'll get some more notes there. Uh, so Back and get captured. There he is, all tentacles. We're gonna go to this pool right here. We're gonna wait here to get. Come on. Come get me. Come on. Thank you. Go into you. And he instantly... Goes. Oh, I'm a Oh, Amidala, <laughs> have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> that was Patchett's saying. We'll meet him soon. Have mercy on his poor soul. Seems like Amygdala is, uh, I think a great one. And refers to the amygdala in the brain. 
Um, if you think he's a great one, let me know, because I believe he is. Let's see. Break these. And I believe when I break these, there's going to be eyeballs. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. They got some eyeballs. Eyes inside your head. Go talk to him. I'll see him right there through the door. <laughs> what a joy it is to behold the divine. It must be such a pleasure. You're in my debt, you know. You're nigh on a beast of the field. But here you are, treading a measure with the gods. <laughs> Creepy SOB. <laughs> are your feet as fat as your wits? <laughs> oh, cease this dithering. Take the plunge. Throw yourself to the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> All he says is no. Okay. We're going to take this place one little step at a time. So we'll go here. That doesn't open. That's right. Go here first. No more note in here? No. We'll, we'll find some gold more notes here. And then here's a lecture. Oh, and these guys drop on your head. I should have. Look at the way they look. Look how creepy the students look. There's an upper part that we can't get to. Notice that. And we see... Get the lecture theater key. Key to the lecture theater, a lecture building. Today, the two-story lecture building is a drift in nightmare. It's a drift in the nightmare. So we're... It's in the nightmare. The lecture building's in the nightmare. We got captured by Amygdala into the nightmare. But once it is placed in a reflection where scholars learned history and archaeology, perhaps still as the students in the lecture theater appear to await the return of their professor. I wonder who their professor is. And we get the student uniform wear because it looks fashionable we get the other one we got this one in bergenworth now we get this one from the school of mensis uniform of the students of bergenworth a bygone institute of learning this alter alternative lack the thick cape the healing church and its roots in bergenworth and naturally borrows heavily from the uniform design the focus on knowledge or thought but on pure pretension would surely bring master willem to despair if he only knew And we got the crow carp. Look at that. <laughs> I like the student uniform, the second set. Oh, here, look at this guy. He looks like a... You know, it's interesting. His attire... Because um, he actually looks like Simon from the DLC. What he's wearing. Which is super interesting. I thought he looked like Simon. Um, I know it's not Simon, but I'm saying his attire looks like Simon's from the DLC. Before we go that way. This way. No. No. Go here. Get this part done. Up there. Get Madman's knowledge here. Which is really interesting that we get Madman's knowledge. Here. This way. Now we can open it. Funnel these guys out. Really interesting that they, uh, whoa. They're like, 
water substance. And they drop tons of Quicksilver bullets. It was really interesting. I mean, they are... Man, they're freaky. They're definitely some Cthulhu looking. I want to make sure because I thought one of the rooms had lore notes, but maybe it's on the second. Uh, hey, there he is up there. Thought there's a lore note in here. And we get the Augur of Ibratas here. Which is an arcane spell. Um, it's really... Look at... It looks like a slug. I mean, it is definitely... Uh, see? Remnant of the Eldritch Truth. So it's a remnant of the old ones. Uh, encounter in Bergenworth. Use phantasms... The uh, Use phantasms, the invertebrates known as the Augurs of the Great Ones, to partially summon abandoned Ibratas. It's funny, because actually, Ibratas is a boss in this game. It's an optional boss. It's a hidden boss. Uh, the initial encounter marked the start of the inquiry the cosmos with the old labyrinth and led to the establishment of the choir. We don't have enough arcane to use it. But I will level up arcane because I just want to get strength on the Eyeballs. And uh, we're done with this section for the section for the most part. Um, we can go to the Nightmare Frontier and actually what we do is I'm going to use the sedative and I'm going to let's see, we want frenzy resistance. We want our highest frenzy resistance. Looks like 45, 56. A hunter garb? Wow, okay. Okay, let's go into the Nightmare Frontier. Light the lantern, and then I'm going to show you what I like to do uh, before. We're going to do the whole area, but I actually like to unlock the uh, shortcut. We proceed into the nightmare. The further into the nightmare we go. There's a lot of wandering man. I'm not gonna worry about getting all of them. You can get invaded here, by the way. I'm playing online. I might want to do no, this off action. Um, that's gonna be the elevator we're gonna raise. This way. These guys can explode. And they're actually bigger uh, wandering manises. So here, this where we drop down is here. Ignore all this. 
just for now. Ignore all this. I'm not gonna mess with this guy. Actually, I want to drop down. Yeah. Past him. It's a frenzy. We beat the area. <laughs> we just unlocked the area. Um, this is the shortcut to the boss, actually, from the very beginning of the area where we were right here. Um, and I like to do this right at the beginning um, because it's easy and we can just go through, take our time if we die because we probably will die. Um, and that's that, you know? Um, Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll continue on with the Nightmare in the next one. Take care.